guys, it's Alice and today it's time for the third part of my bookshelf tour and today we are going to take on this big shelf in the middle here. So on this shelf I keep a lot of my classic books from Oxford, Penguin, Vintage and so on. And then I keep a whole lot of my hardback books and then at the bottom I keep my Harry Potter books. Of all the shelves I have, this is probably the one that has the most number of books. So this is probably going to take a while, so grab yourself a cup of coffee or tea or something. We're going to start at the left, and in the Oxford World's Classics editions, I have The Mysteries of Adolfo and The Romance of the Forest, both by Anne Radcliffe, The Last Man by Mary Shelley, On the Origin of Species by Charles Darwin, The Vampire and Other Tales of the Macabre by John Polidori, Selected Tales by Edgar Allan Poe, The Castle of Otranto by Horace Walpole, Wathek by William Beckford, Selected Letters by Charlotte Bronte, In a Glass Darkly by Sheridan Lafanu, The Yellow Wallpaper and Other Stories by Charlotte Perkins Gilman, Daphnis and Chloe by Longus, The Complete Poems by Catullus, Greek Lyric Poetry, The Queen of Spades and Other Stories by Alexander Pushkin, The Complete Fairy Tales by Charles Perrault, Medea and Other Plays by Euripides, Selected Myths by Plato, Selected Poetry, and lastly, The Woodlanders, both by Thomas Hardy. Moving on, I've got five of these very short introductions. So we've got For Ancient Greece, The Cold War, Alexander the Great, Classical Mythology, and The Trojan War. Then in the Penguin Great Food series, we've got Buffalo Cakes and Indian Pudding by Dr. A. W. Chase, The Well-Kept Kitchen by Gervais Markham, Notes from Madras by Colonel Wyvern, the Elegant Economist by Eliza Acton, A Middle Eastern Feast by Claudia Roden, Exciting Food for Southern Types by Pellegrino Artusi, From Absinthe to Zest by Alexandre Dumas, Love in a Dish and Other Pieces by M.F.K. Fisher, Eating with the Pilgrims and Other Pieces by Calvin Trillin, A Taste of the Sun by Elizabeth David, Recipes and Lessons from A Delicious Cooking Revolution by Alice Waters, The Pleasures of the Table by Berlitt Saverin, Recipes from the White Heart Inn by William Verrill, Everlasting Syllabub and the Art of Carving by Hannah Glass, Murder in the Kitchen by Alice B. Toklas, The Chef at War by Alexis Sawyer, The Joys of Excess by Samuel Pepys, A Dissertation upon Roast Pig by Charles Lamb, The Campaign for Domestic Happiness by Isabella Beaton, and A Little Dinner Before the Play by Agnes Jekyll. Lastly, on the shelf, we've got all of my Haruki Murakami books. So we've got Dance, 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 After Dark, Norwegian Wood, The Elephant Vanishes, After the Quake, Blind Willow, Sleeping Woman, Colorless, Sukuru Tasaki and His Years of Pilgrimage, The Wind of Bird Chronicle, Hardboiled Wonderland and the End of the World, Hear the Wind Sing, and lastly, Pinball 1973. On the second shelf, we've got some books from Neversink Library, some poetry books, some John Wyndham, some Roald Dahl, and then all of my Penguin modern classics. From the Neversink Library, we have The Graveyard by Mara Kiwasko, Youth Without God by Erdon von Horvath, Where There's Love, There's Hate by Adolfo Boy Caceres and Silvina Ocampo, and then The Oasis by Mary McCarthy. In the Penguin Modern Poets series, we've got Volume 1 by Emily Berry, Anne Carson, and Sophie Collins, Volume 2 by Michael Robbins, Patricia Lockwood, and Timothy Thornton, Volume 3 by Malika Booker, Sharon Olds, and Warson Shire, Volume 4 by Kathleen Jamie, Don Patterson, and Nick Laird, Volume 5 by Sam Riviere, Frederick Seidel, and Catherine Maris, and lastly, Volume 6 by Claudine Rankin, Denise Riley, and Maggie Nelson. Next, we've got my John Wyndham collection, so we've got The Chrysalids, The Midwich Cuckoos, Plan for Chaos, and The Cracking Wakes. I've also got this 20th anniversary edition of one of my absolute favorite books, The Secret History by Donna Tartt. Then I've got these three short story collections by Roald Dahl, so we've got Cruelty, Lust, and Madness. Now for all of my Penguin Modern Classics, I've got Hour of the Star by Clarice Lispector, A Clockwork Orange by Anthony Burgess, Lonesome Traveler by Jack Kerouac, Down and Out in Paris and London by George Orwell, The Tailor of Panama by John Le Carré, Selected and Last Poems by Sheslav Milos, The Call of Chitulo and Other Weird Stories by H.P. Lovecraft, A Grain of Wheat by someone whose name I can't pronounce, Cat 
on a Hot Tin Roof by Tennessee Williams, Another Day of Life by Raisar Kapuskinski, Forbidden Colors by Yukio Mishima, Season of Migration to the North by Tayem Sali, The Enchanted April by Elizabeth von Arnim, The Day of the Triffids by John Wyndham, The Old Patagonian Express by Paul Thoreau, A Month in the Country by J. L. Carr, Under the Jaguar Sun by Irla Calvino, The Infernal Desire Machines of Dr. Hoffman by Angela Carter, Brideshead Revisited by Evelyn Waugh, Keep the Aspidistra Flying and Burmese Days by George Orwell, Of Mice and Men and In Dubious Battle by John Steinbeck, A Room of One's Own, The Waves, To the Lighthouse, and my favorite, Mrs. Dalloway, all by the wonderful Virginia Woolf, Snow Country, A Thousand Cranes, and The Sound of the Mountain, all by Yasunari Kawabata, In Cold Blood by Truman Capote, Love in the Time of Cholera by Gabriel Garcia Marquez, and lastly, Wide Sargasso Sea by Jean Rhys. On the third shelf, I've got all of my red spined vintage classics and then some nonfiction books by Penguin. First, we've got all of the books in the James Bond series by Ian Fleming. So we've got Casino Royale, Live and Let Die, Moonraker, Diamonds Are Forever, From Russia with Love, Dr. No, Goldfinger, For Your Eyes Only, Thunderball, the Spy Who Loved Me, On Her Majesty's Secret Service, You Only Live Twice, The Man with the Golden Gun, and Octopussy and the Living Daylights. Next to that we've got Sonnets by Shakespeare, Collected Poems by Yeats, Poems by William Blake, The Fall of the House of Usher and Other Stories by Edgar Allan Poe, The Makioka Sisters by Yunichiro Tanasaki, Stoner by John Williams, the Temple of the Golden Pavilion and the Sailor Who Fell from Grace with the Sea by Yukio Mishima, Remembering Babylon by David Malouf, Mr. Weston's Good Wine by T.F. Powis, Bombay Stories by Sadat Hassan Manto, To Kill a Mockingbird by Harper Lee, and The Handmaid's Tale by Margaret Atwood. Then in the nonfiction section we've got Seven Brief Lessons on Physics by Carlo Rovelli, between East and West by Anne Applebaum, The Idea of India by Sunil Kilnani, The Righteous Mind by Jonathan Haidt, The Descent of Man by Grayson Perry, Goodbye Things by Fumio Sasaki, To Explain the World by Steven Weinberg, and lastly, The Great Sea by David Abulafia. On the next shelf we've got all of my beautiful Penguin English Library editions, and then some more nonfiction books also by Penguin. So, we've got The Hound of the Baskervilles by Arthur Conan Doyle, A Study in Scarlet also by Arthur Conan Doyle, The Adventure of the Engineer's Thumb and Other Cases again by Arthur Conan Doyle, Middlemarch by George Eliot, Evelina by Frances Burney, The Woman in White by Wilkie Collins, Dubliners by James Joyce, The Invisible Man by H.G. Wells, Two on a Tower by Thomas Hardy, Lord Jim by Joseph Conrad, Daisy Miller and the Turn of the Screw by Henry James, Dracula by Bram Stoker, The Scarlet Letter by Nathaniel Hawthorne, The War of the Worlds by H.G. Wells, Lady Audley's Secret by Mary Elizabeth Braddon, The Adventure of the Six Napoleons and Other Cases by Arthur Conan Doyle, The Time Machine and The Island of Dr. Moreau both by H.G. Wells, Treasure Island and the Ebb Tide by Robert Louis Stevenson, the Five Orange Pips and Other Cases by Arthur Conan Doyle, Far From the Madding Crowd by Thomas Hardy, which is one of my favorite classics, Robinson Crusoe by Daniel Defoe, The Valley of Fear by Arthur Conan Doyle again, Wuthering Heights by Emily Bronte, Melmoth the Wanderer by Charles Maturin, The Mystery of Edwin Drood by Charles Dickens, Moby Dick by Herman Melville, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde by Robert Louis Stevenson, Tests of the Durbergrills by Thomas Hardy, Framley Parsonage by Anthony Trollope, Shirley by Charlotte Bronte, Frankenstein by Mary Shelley, The Tenant of Wildfell Hall by Anne Bronte, Oliver Twist by Charles Dickens, and then The Sign of Four again by Arthur Conan Doyle. Next we've got the nonfiction books on the shelf, and the first one is The Drunkard's Walk by Leonard Mlodinow. The second one is Shakespeare's Restless World, An Unexpected History in 20 Objects by Neil McGregor. Then we've got The Big Short by Michael Lewis, Unfinished Empire by John Darwin, They Can't Kill Us All by Wesley Lowry, and lastly, World War II by Norman Stone. On the next shelf we've got an assortment of hardback books. So we've got The Watchmaker of Filigree Street by Natasha Pulley, 
In Order to Live by Yeonmi Park, The Grace Keepers by Kirsty Logan, Lily the Jong by Janet Benton, The Wide Circumference of Love by Marita Golden, Vixen by Rosie Garland, Sugar Money by Jane Harris, Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell, Mischief by Faye Weldon, The Lord of the Flies by William Golding, The Word for Woman is Wilderness by Abby Andrews, Mosquito Land by David Arnold, Castle of Water by Dane Hucklebridge, Heft by Liz Moore, 100 Years of Solitude by Gabriel Garcia Marquez, The War That Saved My Life by Kimberly Brubaker Bradley, Sing Unburied Sing by Jasmine Ward, The Sport of Kings by C. E. Morgan, Circe by Madeline Miller, The Mermaid and Mrs. Hancock by Imogen Hermes Gower, The Faber Book of Christmas, The Heart Goes Last by Margaret Atwood, and lastly, The Occult, Witchcraft and Magic by Christopher Dell. On the second to last shelf, we've got more hardback books, and the first one is Educated by Tara Westover. Then we've got Ghostly Tales, Spine Chilling Stories from the Victorian Age, Go Set a Watchman by Harper Lee, The Interestings by Meg Wallitzer, The Queen of Hearts by Kimmery Martin, The Year of the Runaways by Sanjeev Sahota, They Fight Like Soldiers, They Die Like Children by Romeo Dallaire, The Man with the Compound Eyes by Wu Ming Ji. Good Neighbors by Joanne Serling, Daydreams of Angels by Heather O'Neill, The Smell of Other People's Houses by Bonnie Sue Hitchcock, The Strange and Beautiful Sorrows of Ava Lavender by Leslie Walton, Alice's Adventures in Wonderland, Snow White and Cinderella, all illustrated by Camila Rose Garcia, The Crane Wife by Patrick Ness, Men Explain Things to Me by Rebecca Solnit, Sienna's Dotter, Botticelli's Hemlighet, and Fruen av Sarono by Marina Fiorato, Glassblåsaren fra Murano, and En Bön for Venezia, also by Marina Fiorato, Can't and Won't by Lydia Davis, The Reason I Jump by Naoki Higashida, Fell by Jen Ashworth, Edda and Otto and Russell and James by Emma Hooper, The Last Days of Magic by Mark Tompkins, Thrall by Natasha Threthewy, and lastly, At Work by Annie Leibovitz. We've made it to the last shelf, guys, and on this one I keep a random assortment of hardback books and then all of my lovely Harry Potter books. First, we've got The Little Book of Feminist Saints by Julia Pierpont. Then we've got The Secret Garden by Frances Hodgins Burnett. The Story of King Arthur and His Knights by Howard Pyle. Memoirs of a Geisha by Arthur Golden. A Manual for Cleaning Women by Lucia Berlin. Mr. Bones by Paul Thoreau. Tusnoy and Mott. The Arabian Nights. Grimm's Complete Fairy Tales, The Complete Sherlock Holmes by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle, Take It as a Compliment by Maria Stoyan, Women in Science by Rachel Ignatowski, Rad Women Worldwide by Kate Schatz, Bad Girls Throughout History by Anne Shen, Classic Penguin Cover to Cover, and New York by Megan Hess. Then we've got all of my Harry Potter books, and the first one is this Ravenclaw edition of Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. Then I've got these little books that I'm sure you're familiar with, so we've got Quidditch Through the Ages, The Tales of Beetle the Bard, and Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. Then I've got this beautiful box set of all of the Harry Potter books, so we have got, of course, Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, which is my favorite, Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix, Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince, and lastly, of course, Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. I've also started collecting these illustrated editions by Jim Kay. So we've got Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, and Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. And these are all the books that are out in these editions so far. The very last two books I have to show you today are A History of Magic and this illustrated edition of Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. And those were all the books I had to show you on this shelf. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you all soon. Bye!